Welcome. We're glad to have you with us today to hear about our plans for funding the ministry and outreach of North Christian Church for 2021. We pray that one day soon, we will all be able to gather together in worship, prayer, and the ministry work of the church. The budget committee, which consists of myself, Nance Arund Humph, Terry Shaw, and Tanya Girardi, work together to create the budget and this presentation. We are happy that you are preparing for our upcoming congregational meeting on April 18th at 3 p.m. via Zoom. Before we dive into the numbers, I want to take a moment to highlight the good works we do that come out of our Ministry of Giving. Our monetary donations don't just keep the doors of the church open, they also help improve the lives of people in our community and across the world, and are central to who we are as part of the living body of Christ. Through the Ecumenical Assembly, our church, along with other churches in the community, supports the work and ministry of Love Chapel. Our donations help Love Chapel provide food, financial assistance, emergency housing, transitional housing, bus passes, hot meals, and much more to people in need who live in Bartholomew County. Our gifts to Thrive Alliance help fund the cost of programs that help people live as independently as possible. Through its programs, Thrive Alliance provides services addressing issues related to affordable housing, caregiver support and services, nutrition and wellness programs, transportation and accessibility services, as well as promoting community-wide support for aging-related issues. While the in-person annual Pride Festivals did not take place this last year, nonetheless, we were actively involved with the LGBTQ plus community through the virtual Columbus Pride Festival. We hosted a virtual Pride Transgender Day of Remembrance service, and in cooperation with five other disciple congregations, helped to design and create an all means all themed tree for the Festival of Trees at Christmas time. We remain committed to this vital ministry that is central to who we are as a welcoming church. From our doorsteps to the end of the earth, through our support of the Disciples Mission Fund, we provide resources that enable mission within our neighborhoods, regions, seminaries and universities, through our general ministries and our mission outposts in over 66 countries around the globe. Now let's take a look at the numbers. If you'd like to follow along on your hard copy of the summary, we'll start with operating expenses, then facility expenses, and last of all, our income plan for 2021. Starting with operating expenses, you'll note that some of the expenses relate to salaries and office expenses, while others relate to ministry and outreach. People. In the operating expenses section of the summary, you'll note an expense labeled people. This refers to the cost of our senior minister's salary, the salaries of the other employees of the church, and our bookkeeper. In 2020, we budgeted $196,106. The amount budgeted for 2021 is $187,829. The decrease of $8,277 is based on what we actually spent in 2020 and the likelihood that we won't return to in-person worship until later this year. The decrease reflects a 75% decrease in mileage expenses and an actual decrease 
in the cost of bookkeeping. Office. In 2020, we budgeted $10,200 for office expenses. For 2021, we have decreased the number to $6,900. The decrease of $3,300 reflects a decrease in the cost of printing, the fact that there'll be no General Assembly this year, and the cost of our new telephone and internet service provider. It is based on the likelihood of not returning to in-person worship as well as in-person church and public activities until later this year. Let's take a look at the numbers. Under Ministry Divisions, you'll note several decreases in line item expenses from 2020 to 2021. For example, we will spend less on worship and sacred arts because we haven't been purchasing seasonal flowers or choir music. Other decreases are related to changes to in-person activities due to the pandemic. It should be noted that as we move past the pandemic and resume in-person ministry in 2022, these numbers will likely not just be restored, but with God's help and your tithes, increase. The elders have seamlessly moved their ministry online and provided worship experience bags which specifically came from the corporate worship funds. The elders do not anticipate needing funds in 2021. Our total operating expenses for 2020 were $228,416. For 2021, we have budgeted $212,629, which decreases our expenses by $15,787. While we as individual persons have the tendency to think of the church building as an expense or liability, it is in fact a resource and an integral facet of our unique ministry here in Columbus, Indiana, and beyond. As we move forward with our plan for being a community hub and safe place for the marginalized members of our community, it becomes far more evident that the building itself is a form of ministry. In 2020, we budgeted $92,141 for church property related expenses and $56,668 for maintenance and insurance. In 2020, we had lower energy costs and less need for tuning the organ and piano due to COVID. Custodial supplies increased slightly due to a greater need for deep cleaning during the pandemic. So the 2021 numbers are in line with what we actually spent in 2020 for a savings of $21,959. As you can see, our total expenses for our proposed 2021 budget are $339,479, which represents a reduction of $37,746 below our 2020 expenses. Even during COVID, we had more income from our space sharers than anticipated. We received a forgivable PPP loan, and we continue to receive funds from the Indiana region for support of our community ambassador. If you have not watched the video explaining the findings from the Getty Foundation, please do so. A link to the video was provided in the weekly e-news.
though we budgeted to receive $67,375 from the congregation in 2020. Our actual income from donors was $53,992. Despite this income shortfall last year, we are anticipating a renewed commitment from all of you in 2021, and so we have left the donor number the same. There is no change to the income we will receive from the region. Income from use of the building increased from 2020 to 2021. We expect that amount to grow even more once we get past the pandemic. In 2020, we budgeted for a permanent fund withdrawal of $141,041 to be used for operating and $131,809 for facilities. We actually withdrew $39,474 less than we budgeted in 2020. The numbers for 2021 align more accurately with the anticipated need. We hope this budget summary for 2021 has been helpful to you. If you are interested in seeing more details of our budget plan for 2021, we are happy to share those with you. Please reach out to any of the members of the Budget Committee for specific questions you might have. Thank you for participating in the life, work, and ministry of North Christian Church. We are more than a small group of people who gather each Sunday to pray, worship, and grow together. We are instruments in God's plan, ministering to one another, our community, and the world. We make a difference. Thank you for supporting the mission and ministry of North Christian Church. Your gifts bring our ministry to life.